Hey everyone, Alexis here from Dynasty Preppers. Just wanted to go over the second bag that I carry in my car other than my get home bag. This is dedicated for just medical equipment, as you can see there by the medical batch. This bag is a sling back SOG that we picked up at Walmart. Um, we actually originally picked it up to see if it would make a good um, bug out bag for the kids because it's small. But we have realized that we do not like it for that. We do not like it for anything. <laughs> no. Um, it actually works really great for all this medical equipment and I shove it under my seat in my car and I will show you where I keep that at the end here in my car. But um, I just wanted to try to make a use for it. It is not going to hold up well. It's not a very well made bag. but. For now, it has been in my car, I think, for about six months, and it's doing all right. So they have some molly webbing here on the front if you wanted to connect anything to it, which I don't think you would, but in this very first zipper pocket, I have it shoved full of gloves. Um, if I was gonna stop to help anybody along the side of the road, that would be the first place I would go. Get some gloves on there. There's a little pouch up front here, and I have it clear full, if you can see that, of different kinds of medication. I had taken another um, first aid kit and just kind of disassembled it, put in here. So I have all the different antacids and ibuprofen and then we have, you know, sting relief and iodine patches. Um, I think this is a some kind of clean, oh, poison ivy cleanse towel. Just all that stuff that you would normally find in your first aid kit, that's all just up here ointments, you know, clean, if you had a little wound to clean those out with. Then I have some prescription medication that some of our family takes in there. I just keep that all in the top there. That's just all the general, you know, first aid stuff that you would want to get to. And then there's this other pouch here on the front. And I've got some Q-tips and some floss, some gauze, some surgical masks tape, tongue depressors, you see all that in there, some super glue, yes, you can glue your wounds together, um, let's see, thermometer, hand sterilizer wipes, some more wrap, Coflex down there, love Coflex, works so much better on kids, doesn't rip their their hair off. So just a little bit of everything in there. And if you guys watched the review on my get home bag, you'll notice that we did not have any medical supplies in there because this is always in my bag or in my car at all times. So we would take this too. And here we're going to open up to the main compartment. And I just basically have another medical kit just shoved in there. This is actually our blowout kit that we have made. And um, I'll go through that with you in just a second. You can see it's a pretty decent size in there. And I've got some more stuff. I've got extra Z-fold and what is this? NAR trauma dressing shoved in the bottom there. Some more. This is a wide Coflex. And up in here, it's just a bag of all different sizes of band-aids and extra gauze and um, butterfly enclosures. We've got a triangular, triangular bandage in there. It's just some extra stuff there. We've got an instant ice pack there. That works nice for kids. We've used one actually. You know, someone jammed a finger or something. That never happens. Never happens, just a first aid guide. I don't need that, I'm trained in first aid, but just have it thrown in there just in case. There's some little pockets in there, I don't have anything in that. 
another little pouch back there that I don't have anything in. So let's just get into what we have in our blowout kit here. This is actually a Condor, I think, rip away first aid pouch, right? Yeah. <clears throat> You're right. I'm right. I was right. So we like to test out different things. So far, this one's held up fine. Um, just one that we had. We made up um, a few, a couple of these for to take to the range and stuff. But we want one in our, in my car at all times, just in case if we were to get in a car accident or if we stopped to help somebody else. So we've got ourselves a cat tea tourniquet here. A pair of um, shears. medic shears. Yeah, sorry, just couldn't think of the name. <clears throat> we've got a whole thing of neosporin, some more gloves right there just in case I was to like grab this section and not take this with me if I was gonna help someone. And then back here, we've got quick clot. Like I said, this is a blowout kit, right? So we've got everything here to treat gunshot wounds. Um, got two chest seals. And then this little part here, see, we've got some more Coflex. Um, I did put red in here so that if, you know, you're going to hand somebody off to medics that they know you've wrapped there. We've got the, what is this? Should be four inch Israeli bandage. Yeah, it is. Four inch Israeli. And then we have a SWAT T tourniquet, which are so many uses for these other than just a tourniquet, so I like to carry that and have that as an option too. You can make slings out of them. You can wrap if you're not wanting to actually tourniquet somebody's wound. If they didn't need it, you could use it to just wrap over the gauze too to help keep pressure. That's the orange one, isn't it? Yes, this is the orange one. And they make a black one as yeah, well Yeah, they do. But this one, you know, this, is, this isn't a bug out bag. This is my car every day. You know, more than likely you'd be coming upon a a car crash, right, if you're gonna help somebody. I got a Z-Pack dressing. We've got some glow sticks, especially if you're at night, trying to get some help. Or if you're trying to work on somebody at night. Yes, again, more gloves. You can never have enough gloves, especially if you're working on people who are not your family members. We've just got a bunch of um, four by fours here. Oh, three by threes, sorry. Gauze pads, a pack of wound. We've got some tape, and it looks like we've got another Z-fold up there. So that's what I carry in my car, um, you know, pretty much able to treat everything from, you know, just your everyday little kids' boo-boos to helping someone in a car crash, or if you had a gunshot wound you needed to attend to. Um, I just feel like we need that in the car. So that's what we have in our medical bag that I carry in my car. All right, guys, here you can see are the medical bag that I have. I have it underneath my seat. Um, our seats pull up and then set back down. And the nice thing is, is I could grab this and yank it out and it would come out. Um, other, just, you know, everyone knows where that is in the car. And if anyone hears mom say, get the medical bag, they know exactly where it's at. So I just wanted to show you where I kind of stored that and you get free crumbs in your video. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we are parents. So. Yes. So just underneath the passenger side seat there in my expedition. All right, guys, here's a picture of all the stuff we've got. Pretty much. I mean, I'd left out some of the stuff I had up here for our medical pack. Um, one of the biggest things that we stress is that with anything in your preparedness, not only do you need stuff, but you also need training. And recently Justin and I went and took Med Prep 101 and 201 from Patriot Nurse and it was amazing and we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot. And I just think that we all need to do that, take time and money also to get your stuff and also train yourself because if you don't know how to use this stuff, if you don't know how to use it, it's worthless. Yeah, so. yeah, there's no there's no point. You just have it and hope that maybe somebody's around that knows how to use it. So go ahead and get training. I know there's a lot of people out there who train. Um, Patriot Nurse was a lot of fun. 
but we had a great weekend. It was a blast. And um, we also want to do some other training with some other people around and just, you know, keep in on that training and keep in on trying to have the stuff around too. So it's, it's twofold. You got to do both of them. Hi, this is Justin with Dynasty Preppers. If you enjoyed the video today, please like and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. We have lots of other upcoming videos like these over here. Ask yourself, what have you done to secure your dynasty today?